face to face with modern life and long standing tradition on the streets of Bauchi City. They may be competing for space on the same road, but here the cars are giving way to a cherished culture. It is a deeply religious and conservative place, Nigeria. The vast majority of people here in the north are Muslim and take their faith seriously. And it's religion, whether Islam or Christianity, that shapes strong views when it comes to the issue of homosexuality. I don't want it. Uh, I will not accept it. Uh, as, I mean, uh, since my religion prohibits it. Islamically, it's very, very bad and it's not welcome at all. We don't need it and we don't want it. Across Bauchi State, Islamic law is practiced and as well as clamping down on alcohol, prostitution and gambling, the Hizbah, or Sharia police, have been going after homosexuals with help from the local community. We seek the assistance of those communities within the area. The time and when the time comes, when the people were there, doing this kind of evil things, they just inform us. When they inform us, we storm into the area and made an arrest. Nine men are in prison awaiting trial and they face a possible punishment of death by stoning if found guilty of homosexual offences. <laughs> Local TV captured some of the tension and chaos during the last bail hearing at this Sharia court. An angry crowd called for swift punishment. Rocks were thrown into the courtroom and police fired shots to disperse the mob and protect the suspects. The arrest. I met a close relative of one of the men on trial. He didn't want his face or his voice to be identified. He'd been on a visit to the prison. I noticed that one of the men wasn't walking properly, and so I asked him what happened. Then he showed me the injury on his leg where he'd been beaten up. These trials have whipped up the already strong homophobic attitudes here. And even if the accused are set free by the judges, they'll almost certainly be forced to flee this part of the country and to go into hiding. They've already been labelled. But where to hide? A new secular law has been introduced in Nigeria, with homosexuals now facing up to 14 years in prison. Frightened and feeling hunted, this gay man from Bauchi tells me he loves life. But now it's difficult to know who to trust and he tells me he now accepts that he'll have to hide away just to survive. All these moves are hugely popular in Nigeria, unless, of course, you happen to be gay. Will Ross, BBC News, Bauchi, Northern Nigeria.